Good morning. My name is Aislinn Campbell, and this morning I'm feeling compelled to tell you a little bit about my history and my life experiences. Um, I have to easily say that as a 38-year-old woman, adversity has been a very important storyline in my life. Um, I like to believe that it's because I have something to learn and because I tend to be a bit fearless and tend to be able to handle true adversity and challenge that I have the ability to learn from pain and uh, really teach things after I've had those experiences. And so um, I wanted to tell you a little bit of a story um, about some of the major adversity and um, and how that is related to the community of the Coastal Bend, Corpus Christi, Moise County, San Patricio County, Portland, Texas. Um, I, my, I grew up, uh, my family grew up in the Moises County, San Patricio counties. Um, my extended family has lived here uh, forever. Um, my, my family actually uh, did move to San Antonio when I was young. Uh, when we lived there till I was in the fourth grade. And then we moved back um, and moved back into Portland, Texas when we moved back to town. When I was 13, the summer before I entered high school, um, after being a very, very competent athlete, um, capable and willing and active and healthy and happy, of course, also a very challenging teenage girl, I ran over my leg with a riding lawnmower. It was an accident uh, of, of youth, um, and I uh, didn't handle it correctly. And because at that time, uh, lawnmowers didn't have kill switch underneath kill switches underneath the seat. Uh, when I stepped off, not knowing exactly how to manage a um, difficult challenge on a riding machine. I, my leg, I slipped and my leg went underneath the lawnmower. Um, and I'm lucky that I didn't lose my leg that day. I was rushed to Dris Driscoll Children's Hospital that night and spent the nearly the entire summer before my freshman year in high school in Driscoll Children's Hospital and had the opportunity that year to become uh, a miracle child for Driscoll Children's Hospital. After many surgeries, uh, orthopedic surgeons and plastic surgeons to do some reconstructive surgery and a long time in um, static metal erector, um, things that kept my, my leg in stabil stability over months and months, um, I was able to go to high school, first day of high school in a wheelchair, shortly thereafter in a walking boot and um, crutches. And then within a few months, um, eventually I was able to walk again. Even to the exciting point of the resilience of children, I was able to play basketball my freshman year. Now to my chagrin, um, where I was one of, the, one of the young women athletes that was going to be moving into varsity level as a freshman, I didn't play freshman basketball even very well that year. It was a hard year. And then I got involved in lots of other fantastic things, beauty pageants to show off that I could do anything, even with this giant, ugly scar on my leg. And um, it, it was a long and interesting thing that I went through with my family, and it taught me a lot about who I am today. But one of the things that I think is most interesting about it is, is that then 20 years later, I applied to work at Driscoll Children's Hospital as their public relations coordinator and had the opportunity to take that position. Now, one other interesting little challenge that happened and helped me to understand better um, what whole body, whole health is really about was that as a young woman, I, uh, I became pregnant at 20 years old and I wasn't in really good, strong physical health at that time. Um, I had gone to college and treated myself like general freshman college students treat themselves and then began and then realized I was pregnant and decided that um, my uh, ex-husband and I were going to 
have a baby together. And, um, and as it turned out, I began having preterm labor at 21 weeks. And so we decided the best thing for me to do was to move home, to share a space with my family to help us out um, in case my son was more premature and so premature that he would have to go on the children's hospital. Ultimately, he was born at 30 weeks, and he was a very strong little fighter, born at 5 pounds, 5 ounces, even, even 6 weeks early. And we were very happy to know that he didn't have to go into the intense, uh, the intense high-level uh, neonatal intensive care unit at Driscoll Children's Hospital. So what I have to say about this whole thing is that there's been a lot of adversity. That boy, he is a strong and capable top of his academics at his school athlete who's about to turn 18 years old. And now I get to be a part of weekly lawn mowing at the community garden that I helped found and create the nonprofit that helps to create healthy lifestyle and healthy impact for this community. And that I've been supported not only by funds from Driscoll Children's Hospital, but the support of Driscoll, Driscoll Children's Hospital in years of rallying behind a young woman whose lives they saved, rallying behind a young woman who knew she could be a high-level public cheerleader for the work that they're doing. And I truly believe that Clara Driscoll's spirit lives on strongly in Corpus Christi. And I'm an adamant part of the continuation of strong women leadership she has created in the coastal wind community. I'm saying this because every single day we as a community deal with challenges and adversity. And what I've learned over the years is that every hill we have to climb only makes us better. And I ask that you support the work that we're doing in this community. If it's by your volunteer hours, coming out to the garden, seeing the beauty of it, and knowing that you can help make it even more beautiful, coming out to the downtown farmer's market, and knowing that you have a community of loyal coastal bin natives that are there to help rise up and raise up the health and the local economy of your community and become a member of an organization that is going to be constantly working to create positive neighborhood initiatives, to create a healthy community that we all want to live in through a healthy local economy, through a healthy food system, through working together to come up with what are the solutions to solidify finally that my Corpus Christi, my Corpus Christi is a beautiful place with beautiful, creative, and amazing people. And that we as a community can support one another and know that each of us has done our part to create the beauty and the, nativ and the nativity of what Corpus Christi is all about and what the Coastal Bend is all about. Thanks for listening. I hope you have a fantastic day.